The media has crucified me all these years because of Joe and Bruce and Laura Lee. I think the importance of buyers in the first film is just to show how they had such, you know, the authorities had incredible tunnel vision. So you don't you don't think it was painted in it, or you know you don't think it looked like he was sort of guilty in those in the first couple? Mark Byers presented himself in the light he chose to present himself. And sure. If it's interpreted that he looked guilty, um, it was by his own hand. It wasn't by us. I've been fighting and standing up for my rights all these years. Anytime anyone's accused me, I've stood up to it. I didn't lawyer up. I've been accused of killing three children and my wife all these years. I've never lawyered up. Second film, we gave him every opportunity to confront his accusers of what he did. And, you know, if people saw the second film and thought that he looked bad. They could have edited that movie and shown it as here's a dad that's lost everything, including his mind, because of this tragedy. That would have been the truth, too. But let's sensationalize it and let's put a, all the question marks we can towards this man of look how crazy he is, look how wild he's acting. Look, he's so many different faces. He's a chameleon. He's got long hair, he's got short hair, he's got a beard, no beard. Oh, he's crazy. I mean, the second film was us, the second film was us observing the West Memphis Three support group having suspicions about him, you know? And he took a lie detector test. The whole case in general, specifically the way the filmmakers being Joe and Bruce, what I can say I'm glad they did in hindsight, was they showed basically West Memphis Police Department and Keystone Cops. You know, the focus on buyers is as much to say that, look, there are so many open questions about this case, so many leads that have not been followed up on, that how can you, how can you sentence this guy to death? I mean, it would be as unfair to us to point a specific finger at buyers on circumstantial evidence as it, would have been, as it was for the West Memphis Police Department to point a finger at Damien. So Joe and Bruce did a wonderful, masterful editing job. And we, we feel we have the responsibility as filmmakers to follow this story now until it comes to a natural conclusion, which we hope is going to be the release of all three. I know they're trying to make a PL3, and I'm sure they would have loved for me to be there. What are they trying to make? Uh, Paradise Lost 3. Which we hope is going to be the release of all three. Paradise Lost 3. The release of all three. You know, no one ever knew that I was the boys club nine and ten year old baseball coach. That I'm a 32nd degree Scottish Rite Master Mason. That I was a song director in the Baptist church I went to. Had a reputable business in West Memphis for years and over in Memphis quite a few years before that. No one cares about any good things you do.